All right, as I take you through more beautiful spots of California, this is the next one. Yokel Valley behind me, which is tucked behind the San Joaquin Valley, just east of the city of Exeter. Obviously, I grew up near here in Visalia, but it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous here today. You could see the San Joaquin Valley behind me, Rocky Hill as well, and I'm just gonna walk down the road. Back toward my car here in the beautiful 559, and we're gonna talk about the 49ers center position because they just signed a guy who started at center for the New York Giants all of last season and John Feliciano, 31-year-old veteran, and boom, the 49ers, they have their Daniel Brunskill replacement. Remember, Brunskill was the backup center, did a great job there in 2020 playing eight games for the team to put out an absolute fire at center. Well, in case there's a fire again, the 49ers now have Feliciano, but they've already done some work along the offensive line, and that came before this Feliciano signing, and that was the re-signing of Jake Brendel. Brendel's going to be the starter. He was number three in pass blocking efficiency amongst all NFL centers last year. Feliciano wasn't bad, number 13 out of 27 qualifying centers. So for a backup at such an important position in Kyle Shanahan's scheme, that's really nice. That's important. The 49ers have that in tow, but they also have other options at that position that people might not necessarily know about. Keith Ishmael, when the 49ers traded for Trent Williams back in 2020, one of the picks they sent Washington's way was a fifth rounder. Washington used that fifth round pick on Keith Ishmael, who, by the way, has started some games at center in the National Football League. So the 49ers, through that whole Trent Williams trade, now have a guy who's one of their backup centers, and they really like him. He, he was on the practice squad last year for the 49ers, and now he's signed a reserve future deal, so he's on the team this year. You could probably look at him as a third string center now, and that gets pushed up into second string if their utility lineman, John Feliciano, who's in that Brunskill role, is called upon to play at right guard or left guard or even tackle. That could be possible, but I think the 49ers still need to do more work at right tackle. On top of all that, you've got Nick Zakel, the guy who his college coach told me he takes people over mentally. Was a rookie last year, draft pick of the 49ers, but Zakel is absolutely a player who the 49ers, I think, believe can cerebrally handle the center position. And if he starts getting that on his plate this year, well, then Nick Zakel can be an option for the 49ers, and they'd be four deep at that center position. If you don't think that it's important to be four deep at the center position, you haven't been watching 49ers football over the past couple years because they ran into an absolute catastrophe at center back in 2020. That's when they got onto the fourth string guy, I think it was Hronis Grasu. Disaster in Seattle. I think it was, what, week eight of that season where things really, really went south for the 49ers. And they said never again. They signed Alex Mack the following offseason, but he retired. But at least the apprenticeship with Jake Brendel went well, right? Jake Brendel took over the starting job in 2022, did a really good job, got himself a new contract. And here we are with Brendel back, but the 49ers still trying to spruce up the depth of that position. Because if center goes, the rest of the offense goes, especially with quarterbacks who are a big question mark right now for injuries or other reasons, right? So... I really like what the 49ers have done to insulate the line from the inside out first, but they still have to do more at that tackle spot. And expect them to sign somebody, but also expect them to draft somebody. I know I've mentioned this name several times now, but Blake Blake Freeland is, is the draft target, I would think, you know, somewhere there in the middle rounds with his athletic profile that could fit the 49ers scheme. But just pay attention to how the 49ers are building this. And that center position between Jake Brendel, Feliciano, Nick Zakel, and even Keith, Keith Ishmael, that has evolved quite a bit. And to me, it's fascinating because the 49ers, uh, you know, they came at this from a position of bad luck. They signed Western Richburg to big money. He had to retire early due to injuries. They signed Alex Mack. He had to retire early because he was 36 years old. But they've got that center position figured out to the point where they have depth on top of a good starter in Jake Brendel.